Hey guys, here's a quick review of the Atom A7X Cafalis 50 Wireless and the Magnapan Minis. I've run these three speakers through a number of paces. The XART tweeter, XART tweeter in the Atom A7Xs is superb. Um, low distortion, like virtually every other ribbon tweeter, and the uh, carbon Kevlar or whatever, I don't think it's Kevlar, but something woofer, sounds amazing. <clears throat> The Kef LS50 wireless has a great sound stage and the imaging is pretty decent. Um, you can pinpoint instruments in the living room and tell where they're coming from. Um, it has a wide sound stage and it sounds amazing and it has a little bit more power than the Atom A7Xs. However, the one that I'm using, the of those three that I've decided is the best, is actually the uh, Magnapan Mini. All around, being a uh, pure ribbon tweet, uh, pure ribbon speaker, it is unequaled. Um, the imaging, the purity of the sound, the transparency, uh, it's not on the same level as the A7X or the Kef LS50. It's not as expensive. The Magnapan Minis are about fifteen or $1,700, so they're not as expensive as the LS Wireless, which chime in at $2,800. Um, and they're about the same price as the self-powered as the Cat Phalanx 50 wireless are self-powered Atom A7Xs. Atom A7Xs sound phenomenal in near field. It's not a speaker you can use in your living room, but you can use it near field. It's designed as a near field monitor. The LS50 sound wonderful. They have lots of power and they sound great in the living room. The Magnapan Minis are not very good in the living room, but they sound terrific in near field. Um, of the three, I've, again, I've chosen the Magnapan Minis as my go-to and my primary speaker, uh, because of the sound, that's it. However, you do need an amp. Unlike the Atom A7Xs, which are self-powered, and the Kef LS50s, which are self-powered, the Magnapan Minis require an amplifier. So, what I did was use my Mini DSP with D-Rack as the DAC, it automatically upsamples everything to, to 24 bit 96 kilohertz. And that's fed into my Sunfire receiver, which uh, I have not found another amplifier that compares with Magnapans as well as Sunfire amps do. So this thing puts out 400 watts into two channels at 4 ohms and 800 watts into two channels at 2 ohms. The Magnapan Minis run between 2 to 4 ohms, and this amplifier, this receiver, takes care of it well. It's You can find these. They're years old. You can find these for less than $1,000, and I, I will put this receiver up against any current receiver, and as far as sound, it will win. Uh, what else can I say? Let's see. That's about it. So, of the three, Atom A7X, Cafel 50 Wireless, and the Magnapan Minis. I've chosen the Magnapan Minis. Please ask me any questions and have a good day. Thank you.